الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم یور آئی ٹی ٹیچر شاہد علی خان اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ہیو این ادر ویڈیو ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا پروگرامنگ لینگویجز سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹوڈے واٹ وی ہیو اباؤٹ پروگرامنگ لینگویجز فسٹ آف آل وی ہیو ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اباؤٹ دا پروگرام اور اے کمپیوٹر پروگرام A computer program is a set of instructions, statements written in programming languages to solve particular problem and achieving a specific result. It means that if you want to perform anything through the computer, so you have to give instruction to the computer as we can see in this diagram. For example, suppose this is a computer and it is asking that tell me what to do. and you are giving instruction in form of different codes so here is your program so it means that computer is a set of instructions that tell the computer what to do when to do and how to do computer program and other diagram we can see a block diagram we can see a problem any kind of problem which we want to solve so we have to give instruction to the computer and these are the instruction in programming languages we can say different binary code 010101 and after that computer give us a result or the answer or the solution or that is also called the output so there is a programming languages in programming languages human write the instructions and that convert into machine code and the computer give us the solution or the result so that is called computer program programming programming is the implementation of logic to facilitate specific computing operations and functionality it occurs in one or more languages which differ by application domain and programming model means we have different kind of programming languages and those programming languages we can use to perform any task for example any problem we want to solve so first of all we have to write an algorithm step by step instructions to solve the problem after that the flow chart pictorial representation of the problem and then we will start writing a program or a source code in a particular programming language any kind of programming language we can write a code we use different variables statements and commands after that that command will convert into machine code and after com that computer give us the solution or the result or output so these are the different steps in programming languages we perform programming languages is a vocabulary and set of grammatical rules for instructing a computer or computing devices to perform specific task it means that programming language has a list of commands and statement and instructions that has a specific meaning to perform what to do through the computer the term programming language is usually refer to high level languages such as we have different type of languages such as basic c c++ cobol java fortran formula translation ada pascal and so on we can see another picture of the programming languages related to different popular programming languages right now we are using c++ java ruby perl javascript logo python and so on now come to the high level programming languages there are two types of programming languages but there is another that is called uh, assembly language but right now we will discuss about the high level programming languages high level languages are designed to be used by the human operator or the programmer they are referred to as a closer to human being we can say that they are very easy to understand that's why they are closer to human being In other word their programming style and context is easier to learn and implement than low level language and their entire code generally focus on the specific program to the to be created high level languages are very easy to understand because their commands and instructions are in form of english like words that's why they are very easy they are closer to human being a person can easily understand high level program 
low level programming languages low level programming languages are considered to be closer to home computers in other words their prime function is to be operate and manage manipulate the computing hardware and components they are not easy to understand low level languages are closer to the computer if closer to the computer that means they are closer to the hardware or not easy to understand if they are closer to the hardware that means they are in form of 0101 and 01 means binary language or machine language it is also called machine language because they are in form of 0101 programs and applications written in a low level languages are directly executable on the computing low level language program are directly execute on the computer there is no need to convert in another form low level language is also called the machine languages because they are perform on 01 binary language that's why they are called machine language as well as low level language there is a comparison of low level language or machine language and the high level language we can see there are two computers in one computer there is a program in form of machine language or 0101 and that program is running very fastly or quickly we can see the processing time is very fast because their commands and instructions are closer to human uh, closer to the computer because 01 is closer to the hardware or computer that's why the processing time is very fast and on the right side we can see high level programming language the program are written in form of english like words statements and commands that are familiar to human being but the processing time is slow why it is slow because first of all these instructions of high level languages convert into the machine then computer will run that's why it will take little time now there is another type of language i have discussed earlier that one is the third type and that is called the assembly language an assembly language is a low level language programming language for microprocessor and other programmable devices it is not just a single language but rather a group of languages an assembly language implements a symbolic representation of the machine code they have different symbolic characters in place of the machine code because machine code are not easy to understand and not easy because they have different codes for the different commands but the symbolic representation means they have different mnemonic codes mnemonic codes are just like in between the english like word or in between the machine they are normally understandable for example there are some mnemonic codes i have mentioned on the screen you can see move for you want to move any data mul for multiply di for div add for addition so they are called mnemonic codes in assembly language we use mnemonic codes and in assembly language we use assembler the language translator that convert this mnemonic codes into the machine language because machine language is understandable by the computer the computer could not understand your mnemonic codes or your high level language commands computer can only understand the binary language or the 0101 form that's why it is necessary to convert into the machine code so assembler are used in assembly language to convert into the machine code so each and every language use a different type of translators that convert the source code into the machine code so i hope students you understand about the today's lecture uh, in the next video we will come with the language translators that are related to the programming languages so until that allah hafiz i am going to signing out